Hello, everybody. If you've ever wondered what goes into how Terra Online gets its item information, then you're going to love this video because I'm going to basically break down how right now I am parsing through the client's um, data files, data center files, in order to make an item finder in Excel. So we're going to basically work through kind of my process uh, and how to basically pull up item information and basically the building blocks of items, spells, skills, and almost everything in this game works this way. So, for example, let's just take something like this item I have here. I have rack hooks, right? That's an item in my inventory. They're called rack hooks. That's the details for them right there. So let's let's try to find this, right? So I have um, Visual Studio Code loaded up with, with a folder um, of the data center files that I extracted from the client. And so we're, we're looking for rack hooks, right? So let's look for rack hooks hooks and basically what this tab is let me just go into this because this is really useful um i know there's other ways you could do this but this right here in visual studio code you could go to edit find in files and there's this tab that'll end up showing up that will search for text in every single file in your um workplace or whatever it's called your uh yeah your workspace so we can see here we have we found one instance of rack hooks in this file called string sheet underscore item dash one dot XML. So we have this, right? Let's put this in the scratch pad that I have here. So this one's really simple. This is a field defined as string or, so, or it's a thing defined as string in this XML, XML file. And then it has the this data inside of it, right? Let's just do it like that. Actually, let's do it like that, right? So I got string, and it has an ID of 96594. The tooltip that shows up is schizma weapons. Okay, is that is that really what happens? Uh yeah, there there it is. I oh, I can't oh well, yeah, it's right here. So that's right, that's the tooltip, even though this is all the tooltip, but we'll get to that. So that's right, and it has the string for the item rack hooks. So we're one step there. So what's this ID number? Let's search that. We're going to find it a lot of places because it's not, it's, it's you know, finding that kind of exactly. Um, so right here we have item data one. So let's look at that on, on this line of this file, line 18,365. Let's copy that into the scratch pad. So this is called item. And let's, let's break it out into a whole bunch of, you, you know, to make it a little bit more easy to read. So this might take a second to do. You can see the item is made up of a whole lot of different uh, things here. Just excuse me for a second while I do this. And I'm just doing this part to make it easier to read. Uh, none of this is required to do for anything, really. We're almost there. Trust me, we're almost there. Yeah, there, there's a lot that makes up this item. Ooh, and we're going to have some fun with this one. Uh, we're almost there, I swear. I'm not going to speed this up in post. Okay, so we have all this. Let's tab that out. Okay, so now that we have this item data, 
let's take a look at the item data, right? So there's the ID match. You can see it's the same there. So that's how it gets the, the name of it because nowhere in any of these fields does it say rack hooks. Doesn't. You can see it, there's a thing called name, but that's not the same. That's not the same name. And you can see the category chain, name chain, <laughs> level 65. That's right. Rank seven. If you go back to the game, you can see here tier seven superior. So that's what that is. Max stack means that there could only, if you have multiple in your inventory, they can't be stacked. It could only have one. The rare grade is three, and I believe that is the color of it, basically. You know how you could, uh, if you know in Terra Online, you could have white, um, blue, yellow, um, green for item rarity. Um, and that's yellow. Uh, it doesn't require any equipment. It's, it's an equip weapon type. You need to be level 65 to use it. It references what sound when you equip it. Um, bound type means as soon as you loot it, you pick it up, it is bound to that character. Uh, it has a buy price. And this is interesting because um, this is the buy price. 44 gold, 53 silver, 60 um, copper. Let's see if, am I, am I right? Oh, I'm close enough. <laughs> 4 gold, 45 silver, 36. So, what changed it? Ah, 36. That's it. <laughs> but that's how that's broken out. You can't dye it. You can't change the look of it. Um, I don't know what cool time is. It's destroyable, so you can dismantle it. Well, you could tra Okay, destroy means you could drag it out of your inventory to destroy it. Dismantleable means you could dismantle it into feedstock. Um, drop identify. I forget what that means. Um, let's see. Oh, I think that... No, no, I'm not going to guess. Um, it's able to be enchanted. Uh, it's part of a set, which is this ID number. Uh, you can't extract the look of it, which I think is for like cu item customization look changers. Um, it has an enchant ID. It has an equipment ID. Look info ID. It has all of these different IDs. And we get to this one. This one tripped me up when, when I was working on things. Because if, you, if you're looking at this here and you know anything about um, delimited uh, text files or, or stuff like that, you know that these are separators. Except what are, what are they separating? Because there's only one link masterpiece passivity ID, but there's three entries here. And these three entries are required, and I will get to that. And then you have the uh, category ID for the passivity, the passivity IDs. Um, and th these are different. This is um, the top rolls, I believe. And I'll pull up my Excel, but I believe that the, those are the top rolls. Um, I think that those three, because, um, you also have another, where, where is it? But I'll get to that. I'm not going to get into the weeds yet here. Uh, you have, let's see here, stat revise, uh, masterpiece rate, which is interesting. Um, Obtainable means you could get it, I guess. The sell price. Oh, yeah. That's why the buy price and... Okay, that's why... I, okay, yep. That's that's what I was doing. Store sellable, you could sell it to store. You could trade it. You can't trade it. Um, you can put it inside your bank. That's what warehouse storable means. Um, but yeah, you could see this has a whole lot of information. And we're not even close to having the item yet. So, 
we need the equipment ID. So let's get the equipment ID because that'll give us some more information. So that brings us to equipment data. No, wrong one. So now we're into the equipment data, which I will will break out the same way here. And this will give us the stats for the item. Let's tab that out, make it nice. So now we get to the stats. And you can see impact, max attack, min attack, which are usually always the same number. And uh, then we, oh yeah, this is the top roll. So let's let's get this too. You can see a lot of things have that same passivity. So we have to find passivity four right here. Um, four string sheet. Four string sheet. Oh, well, we want the string, don't we? So let's get the string first. This is this is what that is. That is replenish MP. Which, if you don't remember, I'll pull that back up again. Increases MP replenishment by 47. And, um, where is it? Passivity 4. Well, here's that 47. See, value 47. Tab it out. So we have the top roll, right? <laughs> and we have the attack and the impact. So, uh, nah, no. Nah. I'll just keep doing it like this. So what else do we need? We need the passivities, which would be one, two, and three. So let's get those. Probably down here someplace. String sheet passivity three. Sure. Give me that line. Break it out again. And then we need the actual passivity of it. That should be right here. And we're going to have to do some math to get the values of some of these. So we have one roll, weapon more damage when you attack, increase damage by 4.5 when attacking, and um, that appears to be 4.5 percent. <laughs> so that's right. Next, we have to get uh, the second line to get the string. Weapon more damage when attack from behind. Yep, that's there. I know that's there. So get that in passivity four. And here's the actual values for that one. Let's get this right here, all the way at the bottom, get the string.
and the actual data for it. So we're, we're getting there here. We're getting there. We have almost a whole item. And, you know, since I'm, uh, if you're a person that likes to count lines as being important, the way I'm breaking this out for readability kind of skews that. But it's still really complicated, to be honest. Okay, so we have all of those lines down to here. We don't have decreases, cooldown, or, well, because those are variable. You know, those can be. Um, by wrapping it with an enigmatic scroll and then identifying it, those can change. So we, we don't have those yet. We could. Um, so let's see here. So we have, um, what's, what's this one? Link category. Item enchant category ID. Passivity category ID. That might be it. What else do we have? That might be it. Is that links to a couple different things here? So we have these passivities. Let's see if this lines up with more damage to enrage, enraged monster. Enraged. And I'm not going to get the data just yet. Let's let's just get all the string names. Cuz it doesn't matter what order I do this in for, you know, this right here. Cuz we're just finding out information right now. And the strings are what's important for a human to know. And you might be saying to yourself, "Well, why aren't you doing this with a database or something?" No. We'll get to that. So we got the last one here. And this should be the roles. I think this is the roles that you could uh, change. So, enraged, cooldown, speed, crit. And we have cooldown, enraged, crit. Uh, we also have a damage. I said damage, right? And I did, right? Crit, speed, cooldown, and rage. No. So where increases damage by when attacking from behind? I don't have a behind for that. I have this behind, which is a different behind, because that's right here. That's, that's that one. Even though they're the same. Ooh, okay. See? Let's let's see what that's about. We did that one already. Because we're not masterpiece yet. We're not masterpiece. We're not, we're not going to concern ourselves with that just yet. But we're enchanted. Weapon enchant data, enchant ID. Aha. So let's get this. Category ID. Passivity category. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Step three, step six, step nine. 
So no, yeah, attacking from behind, it still comes from that pool. I'm already getting confused. Yeah, because I already pulled that. Yeah, well, my brain's already confused laying things out like this, so excuse me for a moment while I, um, Pull up another thing that I have here. So let's look up rack hooks. Ah, this is a little bit better. This, uh, so this basically pulls from what I was just showing you. I'm still working on it. I'm still trying to format things so they're not, uh, what's the best way to put it? Malformed. But yeah, you can see I put in rack hooks here and that pulled up, you know, we got the tool tip, we got the ID, the equipment ID, the, the level that you could use it at, all that. And it formats it into this nice little thing with the name, level, the class, the attack, uh, you know, there's no defense or balance because it's a weapon and it has the roles, but it doesn't have um, the changeable roles. I didn't get there yet. Um, and there's still, still some things that are touch and go, but this also shows another thing. So start enchanting and you could see it, um, adds the plus values here and you could go, you know, to plus nine, you could master work it and then you can Go to plus t 12 on it there. And all of that does actually line up. Um, like these are plus six. Um, and that's plus uh, 1460 on the attack. So let's turn off masterwork. And there's uh, there's the 1460. There's, there's the actual number. Uh, the game kind of rounds a little bit. Or I round. Somebody's rounding because things get very confusing. But as you can see, I'm just going to stop it here with that. Trying to parse any of this out with a with a brain is uh, really hard. And this is just this is just uh, a weapon. And this video is just to kind of test the waters a little bit to see if people want more content like this because this is already almost 30 minutes long. Um, Maybe in the next one, I could go over um, items or something like that. Scrolls, how scrolls work. But you can see that this is extremely complicated business. And um, yeah, let me pull up uh, just one last thing here. Uh, what am I looking for? Item data. Yeah, like this file right here. Look at this. Look at this. There's, there's so many lines that Visual Studio Code just stops formatting them. It's just like, nah, dude. And that is, that's basically 20 megabytes in one file for all of this. So trying to make this has, it's been a time and, and there's a reason why uh, I personally haven't, uh, been um, leveling up my characters to the speed that I could have been on um, on Terra. But yeah, like I said, I'm calling it there. Hopefully this is uh, interesting and valuable and eye-opening or something like that. This is real complicated, hard work. And if you get one thing wrong, the server doesn't just go, oops, 
and just let you boot up the server, it just closes without an error. It just won't start up. It doesn't tell you what's wrong. It just tries to start and closes. So you have to be exact if you're modifying any of this. There really isn't like, oops, it's broken because something's off. It's like, if it booted, it, it's, it, the value was accepted, but the value might be wrong or something like that. Uh, and, it's, and it's easy to get into a situation where you could have a silent issue like that. But yeah, I, I could go on for hours about this, and I don't want to in this video. So I will uh, see you in the next video. Bye.